Happy New Year everybody, it's time for Egg Night Kids on Sunday! Happy New Year everybody and I hope that you've had a fantastic Christmas. Okay, before we think about our story, we're going to have a song. So, let's see if you can jump up out of your seats and do some warm-up by singing our song. Over to the song. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on Did you enjoy that? Did you have fun? Did you work out some actions for our song? I hope so. Maybe when we get back together as Ignite Kids, you can show us all of the actions that you've come up with for our songs over lockdown. Okay, so this morning's story is about a guy called Saul, and he starts off, he's not a very nice man. In fact, he is trying to get rid of everybody that believes in Jesus. So he has a plan. He thinks to himself, I'm going to go to Damascus, and I'm going to throw everybody that believes in Jesus into prison. So he goes to the leaders, and he says, I need a note to give me permission to do this. Now the leaders of the Jews, they want rid of all of the Jesus followers too. So they agree with him and they give him a letter. So off he marches on his way to Damascus to get rid of all of the people that believe in Jesus. Now while he was on his way, something amazing happened. There was a bright light and he fell to the floor and he couldn't see, but he heard a voice. And the voice said, why do you persecute me? Now, persecution is a bit of a strange word, but basically it means people being mean to other people because of what they believe in. And that's what this voice was saying to Saul. But Saul couldn't believe it because he was a devout Jew. That means he really, really loved God. Now, Saul says to the voice, who are you, Lord? I don't understand what you're talking about. And the voice says to him, I'm Jesus, and you are being mean to all my followers. I've got a job for you, so get up, Saul, and go to Damascus, and wait for a friend of mine who's going to come and help you. So Saul, he makes his way to Damascus, but the problem is he can't see, so the people with him had to guide him. He goes to a house, and he starts to pray, God, please help me. Now, after a little while, 
there's a guy called Ananias. And God says to Ananias, Ananias, I want you to go and find Saul and I want you to pray for him uh, because he can't see. And Ananias says, but this guy Saul, he's the one that wants to put us all in prison. And God said, yeah, that's right, but I've got a big job for him, so you've got to go and pray with him. So Ananias agreed, and he goes and he prays with Saul. And it says in the Bible that something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he was completely healed. Saul decided that he was going to follow Jesus for himself. So that's what he started doing. He started telling everybody about Jesus. He went and started churches all over the place. And the thing that we're thinking about today is the armour of God. And Saul wrote a letter to a church in Ephesus, and it's got the armour of God in that. I wonder, if some of you have got a Bible, why don't you look up Ephesians 6 and see if you can find the armour of God in it. If you haven't got a Bible, don't worry. See if you can Google it uh, online and find out what the full armour of God is. Failing that, you could just have a look in your packs and see what it says in there. Now, today's craft is making some armour. So I'm going to hand over to me, who's going to make the armour with you. See you in a bit. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed the song and the story. It's now time to do our craft. Now in your packs, you'll have this, which is a little man. Okay, now you can cut him up if you, out if you want to, but I'm going to leave him uh, just like this. And you'll also have another sheet that says the armour of God in it. And you can see all the different bits on there. Now what I've already done is I've already cut them out just to be uh, quick. So there's uh, the sword, okay which is the word of God, which is, yeah, you've got it, the Bible. Then we've got the shield of faith, yeah, the belt of truth, uh, the shoes of the gospel of peace. So we take peace and the gospel wherever we go. Uh, the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet it doesn't look much like a helmet but when it's stuck on it will do of salvation so that's when we think about jesus uh, so we need to be thinking about jesus as much as we can okay so i'm going to start gluing i love gluing now uh, before christmas i sent you all some glue so you'll still have some glue so i'm going to start gluing and i'll show you what it looks like as i finish the gluing okay so the first thing i'm putting on let's see if you can guess what I put on. You see, yeah, the helmet of salvation. So there he is, he's got his helmet on. Okay, let's see if you can guess what the next bit of his armor is. Here we go, it's nearly glued. Can you see? Yeah, the breastplate of righteousness. There it is, yeah. Oh, his feet look a bit cold. Let's put some shoes on him. It's cold outside. We want to make sure that we've got some shoes on. Okay, there's his shoes on. Now you can colour them in if you want to. I haven't coloured mine in because I just wanted to be uh, quick so that you can see how it goes on. Now where do you put a belt? You put it around your waist, don't you? To hold up your trousers. So the belt goes just underneath there. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Now, I wonder if he's right-handed or left-handed. Let's make him left-handed, shall we? So that means that if he's left-handed, his shield is in his right hand and his sword is in his left hand. We'll make him left-handed. There you go. But you can make him right-handed if you want. Okay. So... There's your man. He's got his sword there and his shield there. Let me hold it back so you can see it. Okay, so there you have it. The armour of God. The helmet of salvation. That's the things we think about. The faith. The shield of faith. That's to help us to fight against any doubts that we have. The breastplate of righteousness. That's over our heart. The things we feel. Do we feel good things or bad things? The belt of truth, that means we should always speak the truth, always speak the truth. Then we've got the spirit, the word of God, which is, there you go, is the sword. 
And that's the fact that we should always read the Bible and follow God's word. And then we've got the gospel of peace on our shoes. So wherever we go, we share the love of Jesus uh, with everybody. Maybe you can colour yours in. Mine looks a little bit plain, actually. You could do different colours for the different elements, or you could do them all the same. It's completely up to you. Why not send in your pictures of your little um, man with the armour? And I'll show them next week in this part. Okay, so send in your pictures send in your jokes, send in anything that you've been doing uh, at Ignite over the next uh, little while and I will do the show and tell every week on this bit. So get your mums and dads just to send in the pictures for me and I will do the show and tell. Okay, I'm going to hand back to me now because it's nearly time to finish. Fantastic, did you enjoy that? Have you, have you managed to make the armour? Have you managed to cut out all the different pieces? Did you colour it in different colours? Or did you colour it in all the same colour? Or did you not colour it in at all? I wonder, how did you do with your armour? Okay, so before we finish this morning, uh, we're going to pray. And we're going to pray for all the boys and girls going back to school this coming week. So, let's do the wiggly hand prayer drill. Are you ready? We're going to wiggle at the front. Okay, and then when I say one, we're going to put our arms straight forward like that. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Lord God, we thank you for the year 2020 that you kept us all safe. But God, we just pray for 2021 now that as we go back to school, Father, we'd have a great time and that we had would keep safe and have lots and lots of fun. God bless all of the boys and girls and all of the mums and dads and all of the families that are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, you guys, that's it from me for this morning. I hope you have a fantastic first week back at school. Don't forget, this coming Friday, Ignite Extra will be back online, zooming away, and Ignite Life Group will be back next Sunday at 6.30pm. See you later. Bye. <laughs>